Today, we are buying the Elite Bundle on the Crew 2. We got some Crew credits, so it's a little bit cheaper this time. But you can buy with real money in-game. It's about 2 million, though. Right now, I don't really have 2 million to my name. So let's leave the area, get out of here, and start customizing. Now, I decided not to watch anything on this car, just for the reason that I wanted to hear it fresh, see it new in my own game. So let's have a go. Ooh. I'm liking that. Sounding quite spicy Ferrari to me. I actually really like that. That's a really good sound. That's a pretty damn good sound, if you ask me. Going in the cockpit view, we got... Oh. Induction Ferrari noise. They've done that well. <laughs> I don't even need to tell you any little facts about this car other than that it's bloody brilliant. You need to... You don't, you, you don't have to even like cars that much to understand that this is an iconic piece of machinery. And that is a wall. Now, it is quite interesting in how they've added this kind of late compared to adding a few of the other classic Ferraris. I'm intrigued to see what customizations we got for this Enzo Ferrari because it is such a classic car. Would they have gone crazy with it? Not so sure. Starting off with the color, I think I'm going to stay with the default red. I mean, it's a Ferrari. That's the, in my mind, that's the only color I would ever do it. Or maybe a yellow. But unfortunately, I prefer the red. And I've been, I've been making too many yellow cars, so now we're switching to too many red cars. Jumping into the visual parts, and we've got three hoods. I'd say that's pretty damn good news so far. Carbon or a vent? We can make it a race car, I imagine. Proper race kit all over the car, I reckon. That's what I'm thinking so far. From that hood alone, it's telling me we're going race style with this. Let's have a look. A bit of carbon underneath couple of carbon bits on the lights for example i think i'm actually gonna go with number seven don't want those carbon lights i just want the carbon bumper rims hopefully we got some black yes we got the black ferrari with the come on am i gonna keep silver hell to the no it ain't happening right now and brake calipers should we make them red we'll make them yellow we'll put a bit of yellow on this car just to spice it up a little bit more got the side mirrors which the camera is not really locked on properly. We got the flag on there, or we can make them carbon fiber. And carbon fiber is my middle name. It isn't, but I may actually change. Should I change my middle name to carbon fiber? Carbon. <laughs> As a wise man once said, if you like it, you should have put a wing on it. That was me. I am wise man. Rear bumper customization. Then we've got some tinted lights, which actually look a million times better than the standard lights, I think. I'm going to go for some tinted lights and the diffuser as well in combination. Glorious. No exhaust modifications in there. We have a fully black interior, but I want to put some red accents. We've got the red seats, or can we put like red stitching, red accents in there? I think we're just going to go for the red stitching. That looks beautiful. And it's already carbon fiber. There's no point changing this carbon fiber. It's already bloody carbon fiber. This is the carbon fiber mobile. Now I've got to decide, do I like that front bumper there? Do I want to go for the carbon hood? Or do I want to go with the clean hood? See, I'm not too sure. If we go with the overview. So the carbon hood looks kind of cool. You know what? It's been too long. The carbon fiber hood man Machise is back. And he is carbon fibering this boy livery. Top 100. What do we got? What do we got? These are brand new, of course, brand new liveries added in. The first one's just going to be blacking out the windows, I imagine. That's that's what it's going to look like. Yeah, yeah, blacking out the windows there. Did that actually black? I don't think it blacked out. I just made made the roof black, which is quite nice. I imagine we've got some stripes options. Well, all the FXX version, like livery, that is cool. Is that going to make me rethink what I want to do with the hood? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to be basic. We're just going to throw the black sticker on the roof because I think that's kind of subtle, kind of nice. And now we get to jump to the vanity items. Do we have any tires to suit it? I think we need to check the new vanity because, of course, there's probably new vanity available. But right now, we're going the red tires. Red tires suit perfectly. And the tire smoke, no underglow. Ooh, do we get a red underglow on that? I don't know. And we got a black tint as well, so we're going to throw that on. And apparently, there's new horns as well for us to check out, so we should do that too. And, of course, finally, throwing in all the performance bits that we need. I'm just going to go straight to 320. You know me, Mr. 320, pulling out me bottom. I don't know when my hair got some blonde in it, but <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll accept it. Oh, no, wait. It went away. So if we go over to the vanity items. Yes. Oh, we've got that new nitro that I was, I saw people using it. And honestly, it looked fantastic. So we're going to jump in and have a look at that. That is 
super freaking cool. I'm actually, I'm, I am applying that to all my bloody cars from now on. That is beautiful. The sound it makes as well. We got the Aruga. Let's have a preview of that. I don't think it should take too long to preview exactly what this is going to be. I'm buying that horn. And we're putting it on this Ferrari as well. I don't care, okay? We've got the underglow. Oh, we've got that full set of this blue stuff here. So that's smoke, that's underglow. I'm going to be honest, I don't really like that so much. But the blue lightning, don't we already have that? I might not already have that. We've got the similar to match diamond D effect tires. And the rest, I think, is all pretty set. With the blue underglow, I think that's new. Blinking or normal blue. I think I'm going to have to buy all these. On. I'm going to buy all these. and I don't want them to be on my Ferrari. <laughs> it's going to apply it. But I want it, okay? Yeah, I don't want no underglow. Thank you very much. And the Awuga, that can stay. That could definitely stay. Oh, interesting. So the Nitro is available on this. But it's not available on the Ferrari. So maybe it's to do with manufacturer's approval. Which is a bit of a shame because I really like this NOS. I think it's I think it's bloody brilliant. So um yeah. It's gonna give the, the Ferrari Enzo a skip. Hey, yo, Daquan, let's do some PvP, I Hey, dog, I got you. I got you some hypercar race. Streaming into PvP, and it looks like everybody has the same idea as me. We're doing Hollywood hypercar. So in terms of hypercar races, the Bugattis are pretty much king. And so we're gonna see if that is the case, or if this Ferrari is gonna dethrone the Bugattis in the hypercar class. Let's get it, baby. Oh, I didn't know at the beginning, though. That's my only thing. There's a Lamborghini to the side of me. And this is a contact race. I miss this. I <laughs> I don't know about you, but when there's non-contact, sometimes I feel like there's a little bit missing, you know? I need that little bit of rustle and tussle. Yeah, baby, let's get a boost number three. Woo! I love the Enzo Ferrari so far. It's super grippy, super nice to handle. It feels like the new model of the Crew 2, and that boy is right on my bottom. Took it a bit sharp there. Missed the speedy rear-wheel drive man passing me. He's going a bit all over the place with those lines, though. Oh, 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 yes! Oh, baby! <laughs> Let's get it! Oh, the PvP on this. I do have a lot of fun, to be honest. I'm not much of a PvP man, but I'll take some PvP if it's a bloody good one. Uh-oh. We're okay. I'm okay. It sounds so good, though. So freaking good. And I've got a nice distance ahead of everybody else. Extend the map, and it makes it look like not much further distance. But since we're all scaled to the same level, I'd say that this is going pretty darn well. Did you see that turning? Boost with the NOS, and it keeps the grip going. Oh, God. Here we go. This is going to be more of a, more of a fight here. Yep. He's right on me, bomb. The Bugatti is here. The Bugatti is after me. The Bugatti is actually my main worry in this event. The Regera, I knew it was probably going to spin out, lose a little bit of control. You know, that's what they do, those damn Regeras. They don't know what to do. Regera or Egera. Egera R. Holy crap. Where did you bugger off? <laughs> oh, that was evil. Ah! I'm fighting this Bugatti now. He is going to be mad. He's the Magma Edition. He's going to eat me a lot. He's going to pass me. Oh, he's there. Maybe, maybe he's a clean racer. Maybe he'll accept the fact that it was an accident. I promise that was a total accident of me trying to ram you off the roadside. No! No! Oh! Even the Regera is passing right at the end. That was so... Oh, I tried to turn and I didn't think it would turn that much. I have to, had it locked to the side. Mate, I underestimated this car. My first race though, third place. I'll take it. It's a podium finish. That first place guy was pretty good as well. But considering he is platinum level one, I'd say I'm doing all right here. Congratulations. Look at your Magma Edition. You have giant PP. I appreciate that you didn't try and kill me, even though I did decide to try and kill you. Done right. with the PVP, and we is here to do a bit of a drive. Bit of a drive. Bit of a normal casual drive, because we know it's pretty good at racing. In fact, I'd say that realistically with a new handling model as long as you've got the hang of it you can pretty much adapt that driving to most of the new stuff but it does seem that this thing can outpace I wouldn't say outpace unless you, uh, the, the, the devo driver wasn't amazing let's be fair but it is pretty obvious that it is able to compete with the devo i would still say the bugattis in general are all still pretty much king in terms of speed 
and stability, performance and whatnot, but I do think this is going to give it for a run for its money. I definitely need to dive into this game again and replay and recompare a bunch of the cars, considering the fact that everything has been changed due to the new handling model changes. So if you want, if that's something you want to see in the future, well, support the channel, give it a like, all that kind of cool stuff. But yeah, the Enzo Ferrari, of course, is the first of the old classical style cars that they've decided to add to the game. And of course, we do also have Lamborghini and also a brand new F1. Is it a real F1 car? I don't know. I can't quite remember. But a formula based open wheel vehicle to try out as well. And I know I definitely want to give that a go because that is now the realistically the third formula car in the game because it's a fake one and a real one and a rehashed version of the real one and probably another rehashed version of the real one because that's kind of what they do. All right. <laughs> This has been the crew too. This has been the Enzo. Let me know what you think of it. I love it. It's never been a massive major car I love. I would still say that it's definitely one of my like I would I would if I saw one, I would appreciate it. But it's not on one of my lists, which is great because I don't like to have my hopes and dreams too out of reach. <laughs> Alright. Hopefully you enjoyed. Be sure to smash the like, subscribe. You know I'll see you in the next the crew 2 video. Until next time. Peace.